All right, let's open this thing up. What's going on, everyone? We got some Trident content today. I got some new reagents coming in tomorrow for me to review, so I decided let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box, unpack it, go ahead and put it back inside this body, and set it back up. All right, this is where you want to start by removing the reagent tray, turning the unit upside down, and removing the four rubber screw feet. The next thing we need to worry about is getting the black cuvette chamber cover off. Sometimes if they're really loose, you can get them from the bottom, but I'm using my non-existent fingernails to get it from the top. Now I like to turn the unit up just like this and use my non-existent fingernails once again to pry the body open and then lift it just right off the top. Now we're going to get these pieces of tape off off the side of the body. And at first I thought they were extremely silly, but in the unit's original body they actually are quite helpful. Ugh, sometimes I really wish I had fingernails. Now that that's taken care of, let's get this cuvette assembly out of here. Just spread the body apart and be careful with the ribbon cable down here. Sometimes you'll find the connectors flipped around from trident to trident. I will go ahead and show you. The only thing that matters is that little red wire right there needs to be placed at the top of the unit. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the cubet chamber fill line. And here's the unit all nice and neat. When it comes to separating the body, don't almost drop it like I do. What you're supposed to do is just press in on the sides and it comes right apart. When it comes time to remove the pump and solenoid assembly, just spread the body per usual and pull it back. Just take the ribbon cable out of the zip tie and that's it. Now here comes the fun part. Here's the Trident body some of you have seen that Aaron printed for me. There's not much needed info here on putting it together. It's pretty self-explanatory and there's a couple clips that hold it in place. So I'll just let you enjoy and watch me put it together. There's only two things that really matter. One is being to make sure that you don't pinch the lines with this clip that holds the whole unit down on the base.
the second is when you're putting this ribbon cable back on, you just need to make sure that the red wire is sticking up top. And here's the unit looking all sleek and sexy like it should. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video.